So work problems become a little more complicated when the, the mass or force of the object isn't constant. So here's an example. Uh, we have an 8 meter tall building. We have a rope of negligible weight. We're not going to worry about the weight of the rope in this problem. Uh, but we have a bucket at the bottom, which is, starts out at 10 kilograms, uh, but it's got a hole in it, and it's leaking 0.5 kilograms of sand or whatever it's carrying. Uh, for each meter that it gets lifted. And so the force isn't constant here, right? At the very bottom we have a mass of 8 kilograms, but by the time we get to the top we'll have lost 4 kilograms and we'll only have 6 kilograms remaining. So the force here isn't constant, right? So the force, we've got gravity going on, gravity times the mass. And so the force now is going to depend upon how far we've lifted the bucket. So let's introduce a variable for how far we've lifted the bucket. So suppose I've already lifted the bucket x meters. So I've lifted my bucket to here. Now that I've lifted my bucket x meters, how much mass does it have at this point? Well, let's see. Starts at 10 kilograms, leaks 0.5 kilograms for each meter lifted. We've lifted it x meters. So we started with 10, we've lost 0.5 kilograms for each meter lifted. So we multiply that by the number of meters that we've lifted it to find how much mass is remaining, right? So this is remaining mass. This is gravity. Together those give me the force. But this force isn't constant. This force only act is the same for a very tiny amount of time. And so we are going to break this up into tiny little movements. So we're going to imagine that I lift my bucket some tiny little amount, some little tiny dx amount. So for this small move, the work for this small move will be the current force on the bucket, which we just found, right, given any x value, the force will be this, times the distance that we have lifted the, moved the object, and the distance we're moving it is just some tiny little dx, because that's how far this force is constant on, or essentially constant on. Okay, so there's the work for some small little move, then the total work, the total work lifting the bucket will get by adding up all those tiny little moves. So now we'll integrate the tiny little moves for all the little moves from the very bottom of, of the uh, building the top of the building, so integrating from 0 to 8.